what they feel like that's country. Country, X is what they used to call me because of my accent. And I'm actually a romantic poet. Uh, one of my hobbies is actually writing poetry to pictures that I take and expressing myself in my heart. Anything from romance to just beautiful uh, words that I put together with pictures that I actually take on a uh, weekly basis or daily basis, depending on what my heart needs. And I enjoy doing that because it gives me a chance to reflect about my life and bless others and to share my actual uh, love of nature and poetry. Cut! Fun fact about yourself. Fun fact. So, me. I recently got into a new art called bonsai. Do that. Which is actually creating uh, beautiful worlds of art inside a container. And one of my first trees I actually bought from the Doctor Museum in Los Angeles about a year and a half ago. I was with my family and we bought something in Momento. It was a little sapling, no more than an inch or so big. It's now about two feet ready for the actual bonsai artwork. And so I'm learning this process and this will be my first big actual first big actual project that I've done and I look forward to actually putting myself and creating a beautiful, a beautiful living, breathing tree that has my creativity in it and then share it with others. It's pretty exciting to be able to this moment in your life, action. Saddest moment in my life is when I was 14 years old. I ran away from home and actually hitchhiked to California, Hollywood, California, by myself. And I figured that this would be the place to come. You know, this is where I actually, no computer back then, no internet. You know, this was like Hollywood's place. Dukes of Hazard was my motivation, of course. And I remember coming out here and being out here that first, it three and a half days a year, and being out here by myself in Los Angeles, right outside of Universal Studios. And I spent the night inside a part of the car garage, up on a, a staircase, a police paper, as my uh, covering. And I just realized that there was no going back. And I had actually left my life behind and had a new life that I was trying to create before. Um, slay an 